All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to estimate uh, concrete for a column or a pile. Uh, an example would be if you were going to build a house um, with some on some really soft ground, uh, you had to drill piles down into the ground to set your grade beams on them. So you have your piles down into the ground with your grade beam on top of them. And so the, here's grade. So <clears throat> how much concrete does it take to fill up all these piles that you had to have to um, construct? So what we're going to do is we have 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, we have 17 piles or columns to pour. So we're going to figure out for one and then multiply it times 17. Okay. So the formula that we're going to use is the volume of a cylinder, which is pi r squared h. And pi r squared is the radius or the area of the bottom or the, the round part. And then the h is the depth. So this is h and this is pi r squared. Okay. So, pi is a given. Uh, most of you know it as 3.14. The radius, um, so the radius is the distance from the center, the exact center of the circle to the edge. And we'll say that, um, let's go with 10 inches. 10 inches is a um, nice round number. So that would be 10 inches squared. And then the height, um, let's say we're, dry, we're drilling them down, uh, I don't know, let's say 15 feet. So that would be a height. And then we're going to divide by 27 so that we can convert it all into cubic yards. All right. So now we go up in here and we look, okay, we can't multiply these inches times these feet. So we need to have them in feet. So we need to convert 10 inches into feet. So we're going to then divide it by 12. So now we have 10 twelfths of a foot squared. All right, so using our TI-30XA calculator, we're going to take pi times, then we're going to do the parentheses, 10 divided by 12 parentheses, then we're going to square that number, then we're going to multiply it times 15, and then we're going to divide the whole thing by 27. So we have pi times parentheses 10 divided by 12 parentheses squared times 15 equals divided by 27 equals and we get 1 0.21 cubic yards. Okay, so that's for one 10 inch pile that's 15 feet tall. Since we have 17 piles, then we would take that number times 17. 1.21 times 17 and we would get 20.57 cubic yards. Okay, um, then of course with concrete we always want to add um, some for waste, so we're going to multiply it times 1.1 which is 10% waste, so 1 is the 20.57 and the 0.1 is the waste so 20.57 times 1.1 equals, 
uh, 22.63. So 22.63 cubic yards. So it would take that much concrete to fill up 17 of these piles, 10 inches in diameter, radius with a radius of 10 inches and a um, depth of 15 feet.